Yeah, good question. Uh, what are the five mistakes that beginning golfers make when they go out and uh, try golf? So the number one reason or big mistake I see that they make is they go out and play without ever taking lessons, without practicing. Uh, if a buddy calls you up and says, hey, let's go play golf, and you go rent a set of clubs or borrow a set of clubs and go out and try to play, chances are you're not going to have much fun. It's a very difficult game to just jump out and, and start playing without working at skill development. And what I mean by that is most beginning golfers are going to need to hit golf balls, take some lessons, learn how to putt, chip, pitch, and, and get out of the sand and things like that. So um, with that in mind, I'd say that that's one of the big mistakes. Um, the, the second biggest mistake that I see beginners make is that they choose not to take lessons. Uh, this is uh, a problem with uh, your, your better athletes that play other sports. Uh, many times they'll think, well, you know, golf's not that tough. I'll go and uh, see how I can do on my own. And if you go out there and try golf without any help and uh, try, to, try to learn it on your own, now I understand that there's, there's videos like I provide on YouTube there's videos all over the, uh, the internet, there's golf magazines, there's the Golf Channel. There's a lot of information out there, but for you to try to decipher that and do it all on your own I think is a big mistake, so I would advise against that. Um, another big mistake that beginning golfers make is that they go out and they play with their friends who are also beginners. And I would um, push people to play with experienced golfers. Call up your friends that have played quite a bit and, and get them to play with you the first few times you go out and play. Um, game is tough, and uh, if you go out with an experienced golfer, he's going to be able to show you a lot of things on the golf course. Um, he might line you up more correctly. He might pick a club for you, or he or she. Um, they might uh, show you how to park, where to drop your clubs, uh, how to check in the pro shop, how to drive a cart. There's a lot of women I know that have been intimidated by going to a golf course and beginning golfers are sometimes intimidated by the game. So let's take the intimidation factor out by going with someone who has experience therefore you eliminate making uh, mistakes or uh, embarrassing situations, things like that. So um, call up your friends that play a lot of golf and don't be afraid to play with them. Again, I, I, I taught at country clubs where women told me all the time. I can't play with her. She's really good. She's played for several years. Well, that's a mistake. Don't, don't make that mistake. Um, they enjoy playing golf with or without good players. Um, I've played with beginners. Uh, a common mistake I hear all the time is, oh, I can't play with you. You're a pro. Well, pros are good players, so therefore most of the time they, they play golf. They're, they're not playing with other pros unless they're playing in tournaments. So you're always playing with someone who's not as good as you. So we're out there to play our game as you should be out there to play your game. So don't make that mistake. Ask good players to go play golf with you and they'll enjoy it um, just as much as you will and you'll enjoy it more because you're with someone who's experienced rather than inexperienced. Another mistake that I see beginners make is that they use old clubs that they got out of the basement or the garage or their dad's hand-me-downs or or something like that. So I would advise against using older clubs to begin the game. Now I would also advise not to go out and buy new clubs until um, you have some training and you've developed a swing that you could be fit for. Uh, cl clubs should be fit for your swing and for your height and your build and your hand size and all things like that, your strength. So. Um, just make sure you don't use those old clubs that have slick grips um, and maybe too stiff, too heavy. Uh, older models, clubs, if they're 15 years old, maybe 20 years old, uh, they don't feel very good when you hit them. So beginners, a lot of times, they go out and they try to, try to play a game that's pretty tough with uh, equipment that's not very uh, conditioned for uh, play at the time. So I would, like I said, I would advise against that. Uh, borrow some clubs that have good grips that are the right size for you. Um, and, and if you, you go to the PGA Pro Shop and there's a PGA Pro there, he'll help get you in the right clubs uh, for you to practice with until you're ready to be fit. Uh, and the number one mistake I see that beginning golfers make is that they take lessons from inexperienced teachers. Um, and again, this can be sometimes financial situation if you feel like, well, I can't afford the best. I'll just take lessons from this guy over here who's less expensive. Um, 
you can get inexpensive lessons from experienced teachers, and if you can find that, that's great. But I would advise against um, taking lessons just because someone knows more than you do, they feel like they can help you in golf. And they might be able to, but six or 10 in lessons from an inexperienced instructor can throw you down the wrong road that you can have a hard time recovering from and you can play poor golf for the rest of your life and struggle with the game. And if you take one or two lessons from a, new, a very experienced teacher who knows how to train someone in golf and golf, how to swing and how to play, you're, you're gonna be set down a road that I think will be much more enjoyable for you. So make sure you get out there and, and take lessons from uh, the experienced instructors in your area, full-time teachers, PGA members, uh, those who have uh, chosen to choose golf for their livelihood, I think will do a better job than those who are doing it as a hobby. And uh, those are the five biggest mistakes, so avoid those. And I think you'll find that golf is one of the greatest games you'll ever play. Golf, uh, people don't know this, but golf is the fastest growing sport in the world right now. We've had a recession in golf in, uh, in recent uh, years here in the United States, but it's still the fastest growing sport in the world. And it'll rebound here in the United States as well, especially with uh, you beginners going out there and taking my, my advice here and uh, learning to play the game the right way. Have fun.